Hi, this is Mato. This video is about semi-slav defense and it is about martial gambit variation. We'll be following the game between Doric Darko and Gela Jakov that was played in Pardubice in 2005. Pardubice is a city in Czech Republic. So after this video you will know much more about martial gambit game started with d4 we are going to have a look into this game from black's point of view d5 c4 c6 knight to c3 e6 and now martial gambit so d takes e4 is normal move but bishop to b4 could be played and then this could be continuation something like that but uh, d takes e4 is the most popular move then white takes with the knight and now bishop to b4 check knight can go back but uh, black equalizes quite easily that's why after bishop to b4 white played bishop to d2 then queen takes on d4 bishop takes bishop queen takes on e4 now white has a choice bishop to e2 or knight to e2 knight to e2 is not as much popular because white equalizes quite easily in this uh, in this opening in this variation Okay, so I'm just going to show you the continuation and then queen to d4 queen takes on d4 bishop takes on d4 c5 bishop to c3 and black equalized and that's why in this position bishop to e2 is the most popular move okay so how to continue now for black as you can see queen can take the pawn on g2 but then bishop comes to f3 black didn't have particularly good results with capturing the pawn on g2 that's why he doesn't play it that often uh, if he knows the opening better move is c5 or knight to a6 let's look into c5 which doesn't seem to be too bad c5 is giving the pawn back then bishop takes knight to d7 bishop to d6 this is a very annoying bishop now queen takes on g2 bishop to f3 queen to g5 h4 queen to f6 queen to b3 knight to e7 knight to e2 castling knight to g3 and uh, black is not doing so bad so c5 is quite a good move for black but uh, the most popular move is knight to a6 so black doesn't want to give his pawn back he played knight to a6 and now white in this position has three options bishop to c3 can be played bishop to c3 is not the best for white because black equalizes quite quickly okay so what is the other move the other move is bishop to a5 that is that is very good move because you can see that white is threatening checkmate on d8 so the, the game may continue like this bishop to d7 knight to f3 knight to f6 queen to d6 this, look, this looks a bit scary doesn't it ok now queen to f5 is the best move here attacking the bishop knight to e5 and this looks very very scary now but luckily for black he's got a tactic in this position that brings him equality what is the tactic what would you play if you had black pieces so this is the move queen takes on f2 
that is like a thunderbolt out of clear sky and then black equalizes okay so white's most popular move is bishop to d6 bishop is in very annoying position because black is going to have trouble castling okay so what is the best move for black in this position well queen taking on g2 is not the best we are not going to have a look into the game this is not the best move although it looks good okay the best move is b6 and then again would continue knight to f3 bishop to b7 that was the purpose to play bishop to b7 and rook to d8 knight to e5 f6 chasing the knight but knight is not going anywhere white castled pawn takes knight bishop to h5 g6 rook to e1 and now in this position it looks like that queen to h4 is a good move it is uh, quite a good move but um, Gela played queen takes on c4 now bishop is under attack so bishop to e2 attacking the queen queen to d5 queens are exchanged black captured towards the center and now bishop can take immediately on e5 but it will transpose to this variation anyway after bishop captured on a6 bishop takes back on a6 and now white captured the pawn threatening to uh, capture the rook knight to f6 bishop takes knight castling rook captured on e6 rook from a to e8 so we are following the game between Dorich and Agela rook to d6 defending the bishop attacking the pawn rook to e2 h4 not only to push it to h5 but to make room for the king to escape to h2 now bishop to c8 bishop to d4 oh, pardon me bishop to d4 rook to e4 attacking the pawn on h4 rook takes pawn rook takes pawn rook to c1 rook is coming to c7 rook from 4 to f4 rook to c7 and draw was agreed in this game because black would play rook from 4 to f7 and after rooks are exchanged uh, the game would end up in a draw because of the opposite color bishops so in this position draw was agreed but uh, as you can see martial gambit variation of uh, semi-slav is very interesting uh, uh, gambit and uh, if black is not aware of all these tricks he may get in big trouble I hope that you learned more about this martial gambit and I hope that you enjoyed watching this video bye for now